Kumi and Mueller funneled billions in FBI contracts to enrich themselves. Seamus Bruner of the GAI, and author of Compromised, How Money and Politics Drive FBI Corruption, has exposed the real reason Cummy was paid upwards of $6 million a year by his new employer Lockheed Martin. Together with GAI President Peter Schweizer, Bruner has discovered a trail of lucrative FBI contracts that were funneled from then-director Mueller to Cummy's new firm. Federal contracts worth $100 million plus, with one contract worth $1 billion, were snatched from competitors such as IBM, in favor of Cummy's tech giant employers, according to the two Government Accountability Institute officials. Bruner and Schweizer lifted the lid on the scheme during Breitbart News Tonight with hosts Rebecca Mansour and Joel Pollack. Bruner and Schweizer investigated what they described as a revolving door of cronyism within the federal government's national security and intelligence apparatuses. The pair focusing on the monetization of security clearances that are held by former administration officials, such as John Brennan and James Clapper. Bruner noted the growth of Cummy's net worth between 2003 and 2009 after Cummy left the Department of Justice to join Lockheed Martin as senior vice president and lead counsel. It doesn't really make much sense why Lockheed Martin would pay James Cummy upwards of $6 million in a single year assessed Bruner. But one reason, aside from his security clearance, is that his buddy Robert Mueller is running the FBI. They begin passing $100 million plus contracts to Lockheed Martin. Paul. Bruner continued, one of these contracts was actually worth 